Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the previous videos, we have learned how to model this particular house structure, how to model it, how to apply the loads on it, and how to analyze it. We have discussed in the previous videos. Now we will learn how to design this structure using ACI code. So let's begin. As we can see here. These lock buttons. This is the pre-processing mode, and this is the post-processing mode. And the post-processing mode is being locked. Means that analysis has been performed for this structure. Now it's time to design this structure. So before going to design, we will look at some design parameters. So go to the design tab and general design parameters. First is the definition of frame. So here we can assume that this is only a single story structure. So we can assume that it's raised in X and Y both the directions. And the design type is 3D. And we want the software to auto calculate the effective length factors for columns. So just click OK. Now second one and the main one is the member assignment first let me just open the node number showing the node number from this button we can display the element numbers on and off and from this button we can show the node numbers on and off so we are showing the element number here the beam numbers element numbers are very small are having very small fonts so just go to the display option and go to the element and element number and increase the font to 10 okay now we can see that beam number 22 and 52 they are the separate beams in this software but physically these two beams are a single one why because on the left side of this beam number 22 there is a column which is having a number of 2 and on the right side of beam 52 there is a column number 3 why this beam has broken into 2 because this particular beam is resting over these two beams so the software has split these this beam into two so we want it to design as a single beam so the member assignment came into the picture by applying this particular command the software will take the maximum forces between these two beams and design this beam for that particular force so how to apply this command it's a very smart command of this software so how to apply this just go to the member assignment by clicking this general design parameters member assignment and here are the option for manually apply the member assignment or automatically the software will search what beams should be merged as one not physically merged but uh, design merged as one so click on this automatic button and selection type is all and just click on apply now for this particular beam 22 and 52 there are the two beams now these beams is treated as one so the software has given the index as 22 these two beams is now acting as a single beam number which is 22 similarly for this particular beam as well for this two beams as well for this two beams as well and so on all right so just close it now turn off the element numbers now go to the general design parameters again and Unbrace length we don't want to apply it manually the software will 
automatically calculated so just go to the second tab this one and select the code ACI 318-14 and under this RC design button design code is ACI 318-14 check beam deflection if we want to check the beam deflection just click on this button and if we want to apply the special provisions for seismic design it is only for the high seismic zone so we don't uh, apply the lateral forces yet so just ignore this the torsion design if you want to have the torsion design in your beams just click on this button otherwise uncheck it and ok the second one is the strength reduction factors so for this particular code for tension control phi t is 0.9 and for compression control member with the spiral reinforcement 0.7 and for other the reinforcement 0.65 and shear and torsion 0.75 all updated by the code all right now go to the third option modify concrete material this is important just first there are only two materials we have uh, defined one for the columns and one for the beams so just click on first C4000 this is already we have defined now click on this ASTM rebar selection the code is ASTM RC we want to have the grade of main rebar as grade 60 and sub rebars grade 60 as well and modify so these are updated here now click on this one and repeat the procedure modify close now go to the design criteria for rebar so in this dialog box we can see that there are four segments for beam design for column design for brace design and for shear wall design so first explore the beam design just go to the rebar this is the main rebars you go to this rebar button so we can select the bar dia as we want to have in our beams so let's say we are we want to have 10 mm dia bars and 12 mm dia bars <coughs> and 12 mm dia bars so okay stirrups we want to have 10 mm dia bars side bars also 10 mm dia bars stirrups are having the arrangement of two legs and yes dt dt means the top cover db means the bottom cover so it is in the fit so just click ok and change the unit to inches and again go to this button and now apply just 2.5 for the top and bottom as well Design it as a doubly rebar, doubly reinforced beam. So just check it and consider spacing limit. Okay. For the column, just go to this and we want to have the 12 mm dia bars only for the columns. Okay. Ties or stirrups 10 mm dia bars arrangement 2 in Y, 2 in Z. D naught, this is the cover for the column, let's say 2 inches. Consider spacing limit for let's say it is having 1.5 inches. Consider the spacing limit for main rebars none. Okay, so we don't have any bracing or shear wall yet. So just click on OK. Now go to perform batch design as we already done the analysis part. So just go to concrete beam design and concrete column design. So just run that so it will run the design so the design has been completed this is a column design and this is a beam design now just hide this button in this dialog box click on the connect model view so that we can check the beam so it is highlighted here so let's say this particular beam just go to the graphics and just print and save it in your computer 
so this is the PDF report so it is showing the member number and all the associated data so this is all the <coughs> design results for the beam all right similarly we can see the results design results for column let's say connect model and for this particular column graphics so this is a design result for column one thing regarding the beam design result is that just just go to the beam results and see this particular result let's say number number 21 here so these are the bending moments factored strength these are the strength and factored moment mu is this one right now go to just close this and go to open the numbered numbers select this particular frame and activate only now this beam number 21 is here now go to the results tab go to the forces beam diagrams and these are the load combination number 1 3 and 1 so maximum value for and j is against load combination number 1 so now is cb1 my apply so this is the bending moment diagram just solid fill it so we can see that the software is creating the bending moment diagrams for the center line all right just uh, click on the values apply if you cannot see this uh, values so just go to here element number element and increase the font to 10 or whatever you want so let's say 12 and we can see that this value is absolute maximum and it is showing at the center but it is not at the center so just uncheck it and i center and j apply these are the real values at the real locations so we can see that the bending moment for this particular beam on either end is just go to the unit fit okay so 3792548 and 1350 this bending moment is 13506 pound fit for this particular beam and this end jth end all right but the code says design the elements for the moments at the face of the support but the software is not calculating the design forces at the face but but rather it is calculating at the center line so to get the forces at the face of the structure at the face of the elements we have to apply the panel zone effect so just go to the initial view and go to the boundary tab unlock the model by clicking this pre-processing mode and panel zone effect auto calculate panel zone effect panel zone ok analysis and design result will be deleted continue yes so the panel zone effect has been applied to the whole structure now we can check by analyzing it first see the frame again here result tab forces beams dead load so just load combination number one and apply solid fill ok now we can see that the software is calculating the design forces 
at the face of the element rather at the center line by doing this for the designing of these elements the software will pick up the maximum bending moment for end i or end j not for the center line but for the face and design according to that force which is economic design so this is very important for the concrete structures now go to the design tab all the parameters have already been set just click on perform design concrete design column and concrete column design yes okay just go to element number 21 and apply okay so it is found fit now for the comparison of design result for from the previous designs just select the pound inch unit perform batch design concrete beam check apply number 21 graphics k okay. now now what we can see is that previously the factor moment mu at and J is 162,072 pound in inches but here we can see it is 123,673 it is very very less than the previous one so this is the importance of for the panel zone effects so we must apply this command before designing the concrete elements so in this way we can design this whole structure so see you in the next video